Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sierra again, and I'm here with my January favorites. And I have quite a few. Um, I have a few beauty and a few skincare, um, like a couple miscellaneous, and then I'm saving the best for last, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first, so I have everything over here to my left, your right, I think probably. So if I keep looking over here, that's what's happening. Um, so the first is the Dior Addict Lip Glow. And as you can see, I have all three colors. So this is a legit January favorite. These may end up becoming like a 2016 favorite. We'll see how the year plays out. But so far, I absolutely love these. Um, I have it in the lilac color, coral, and pink. And I'm just really quickly going to show you the colors. And they're so sheer. This is the lilac. And they, they're lip balms, so they're moisturizing, but they have a little bit of color. And every color looks different on, on different people. Um, this is the coral and basically based on like the the color the natural color of your lips this will look different um, for everyone who wears it and this is the pink and they're just so pretty they're just they're very subtle um, but they're also moisturizing and so you kind of get like the double bang for your buck because you get some color and it looks like you're wearing some nice makeup but it's also hydrating it's especially good in the winter um, and it's really easy like you can just without a mirror so that's why i really love them so i'm obsessed definite favorite next for the lips is the jorlique love balm oh that's nice i don't know if you can see that and I really love Jurelique project. I really like Jurelique products. Um, I like them because they use like organic, more natural ingredients. But um, I also really just like them because they smell so good. Oh, like this. I just I want every single product I ever use to smell like this. So next up, apparently I have a lot of January lip favorites, um, and the next is the. Tarte Maracuja Lip Exfoliant. I have never tried this before, but with the winter weather, and again, I say when I use the term winter loosely, I know that on the East Coast, like they're getting slammed with snow, and it got, I think, down to like 50 degrees today, and everyone here was just like, oh my God, break out the scarves. Um, but anyways, the faux winter weather here has been really wreaking havoc on my skin this season and on my lips as well. So, I bought this um, lip exfoliant, which has castor seed oil, sunflower seed oil, um, shea butter, beeswax, a few other really good things, and um, you just scrub a little bit on your lips, like when you're doing your nighttime routine, and it's really sweet. It's like the sugar kind of like dissolves as you're massaging it into your lips, and it smells so good. There's like there's a little bit of mint in it, I feel like, um, but it is, it's so good. And then when you kind of just rinse it off your lips, you can feel the shea butter kind of lingering, lingering behind and your lips are just so moisturized after exfoliating them. It's this really weird, magical sort of thing that they have going on. Um, and the packaging is just really pretty. If you can see, I have to, there we go. Um, it's just this beautiful purple and gold and it's just, I'm a sucker for pretty packaging, as you will find out if you watch more of my videos. So next is the last skincare makeup product, and it is the Sunday Riley um, Luna and Good Jeans. If you can see those a little closer. And I bought these two in a set together, um, and I it was a pretty good deal, actually. I think it was like... I'm, gonna, I'm using the term good deal very loosely here. It was a lot of money still. Um, but for these products, which are very high-end, very expensive products, it was a good deal. I think it was about $100 for both of these, and I got them from Sephora. Um, and I'll try and leave the link in the box below. Um, 
So the Luna is a sleeping night oil, which um, they say it's the retinoid oil, which reduces pore size, improves appearance of damaged skin, and helps fight wrinkles. I mean, everybody needs this. Just everybody needs this. I, I have very oily, tend to break out skin. And so when I did put this on my face, I was like, I felt like there was like 36 years of fighting oil and just like being like, what am I doing? Why am I putting oil on my face right now? This feels wrong, but it really, really works. Like my skin, it just, it's different. When I put makeup on it, like it wears nicer. Um, I have not broken out from this. Now, granted, I am not giving like a full review on this product. I've only used it for a few nights, um, but I, I really like it so far. This is the Luna Sleep Oil. Um, and then this is the Good Jeans, and this is what you put on in the morning. And this is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment, which brightens, exfoliates, plumps, lines, evens hyperpigmentation, and increases circulation for instant radiance. I mean, those are some bold claims. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel like my skin looks better after using this for a few days. Um, so I feel like these are both really good products. I really like them so far. So I'm excited to see how this goes after like several weeks to a month of using these, especially this with the, um, the retinoid oil. Um, I know retinoids are like all the rage right now. They're so good for your skin. So I'm excited to see how these play out, but so far they're a definite favorite. And then I am super late to the party on this, but I just got a new rollerball perfume. This is Flower Balm by Victor and Rolf. And um, I got this because I, I like floral scents. Um, oh, that's so good. And so I just thought, you know, Flower Balm, duh, of course I'm gonna like that. I read the description, it was very floral. It was, I believe, tuberose and all these flowers that I just like love. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna love this. There's no way I can not not love this and especially with like apparently the internet like blew up a few years ago when this came out and everyone was just going crazy for it in love so um, I ordered it from Sephora and I got it and I put it on and I was just like this is not for me this is just a little bit much like I like lighter scents fruity florally kind of sweet um, and this is definitely a little bit it almost is like a little powdery and it's definitely kind of on the other side of the scent spectrum. Um, oh, it's so good though. So the long story short is that I put it on and I kind of was like determined to like it. I didn't want to return it, which is so dumb, but um, I put it on and like an hour later it smelled totally different and I really liked it. And so what I've kind of learned is that perfumes like smell so differently after you wear it for a little while it just reacts with your body chemistry so I can't stop smelling myself so I really just love the way that it smells and I am now totally obsessed with this so definite favorite so this one is kind of a funny one um, but this is my Kate Spade water bottle um, I know this seems like a weird thing to buy like even remotely designer um, but I'd kind of been eyeing it on the Nordstrom website and um, I don't know and just like some mad shopping 3 a.m. feeding the baby haze I purchased this and got it and I love it now this is gonna sound kind of weird but I'm kind of a water bottle connoisseur I've gone through a lot of water bottles in my day starting like back like 10 15 years ago with the Nell jeans and then I've had Camelbacks and um, what are the other ones with the straws uh, Contigo I've tried those um, I've tried like the metal ones I've tried them all and I really love Camelbacks because I love the straw and like the bite valve, but they leak everywhere. No matter what you do, no matter if you don't put it in the dishwasher, they just leak everywhere. And I really was holding strong because I just love them so much. And I feel like I would drink more water by just having the straw in the bite valve for some reason. I, I can't explain it, but I've heard other people say the same thing. So I really hung in there. Um, and tried to just overlook the fact that it would leak everywhere but finally even if I didn't like tip it on its side the water would just like start welling up through the 
spout and I was like, okay, I need to try something else. So my impulse purchase kind of worked out in that I needed a new water bottle. And like I said, I absolutely love this. It is um, a glass bottle right here and it's covered with this kind of like silicone plastic here. Um, so it's nice because if it drops, it's protected. Um, it kind of also keeps the bottle from sweating too much if you put really cold water in. And then this is just um, plastic and it unscrews like this and it's just like a normal bottle like you'd get from the store if you bought like tea or kombucha or something like that. I just, I love it. I really like that it's glass. I am surprised at how much I like that feature of it. And then it has this little handle here. Um, so, you know, you have to be a little bit more careful because it is a glass. This is the first glass bottle I've ever had, but I love it. It's cute. It's pink. It says right here, it says, just add water. How cute is that? I mean, come on. It's kind of fun to have a cute water bottle. And then last, I saved the very best for last. If you've seen any of my other videos, you will know I have this. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know I have this. You should follow me on Instagram, by the way. I'm sprinkles underscore and sparkles. I will put that in the down box below as well. Um, and this is probably not just the January favorite, but probably gonna be a 2016 favorite, but for sure January. And that is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Empreinte in the Infini color. This bag has just stolen my heart. Um, I did a review on it, so I'll link that down below as well, or an unboxing rather. Um, it's just a stunning, stunning bag. I can't just, I can't even, words cannot describe it. I'm like stuttering and stammering over my words because I'm just staring at its beautifulness and I just can't even think. Just every word has gone out of my head. Um, <laughs> it's just a beautiful bag. I think the emprunt leather for Louis Vuitton is just stunning. Um, I love that it's kind of understated, but you can still tell it's Louis Vuitton. It kind of like flies under the radar, sort of. Um, I love the color. I love how it's kind of slouchy and soft, but I have a, a bag organizer in here, so it kind of helps it keep its shape. Um, and I will be doing a review on the bag organizer as well. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a what's in my bag pretty soon, I think, as well. So there will be more of this bag in the future of my YouTube channel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my January favorites. This was a really, really fun video to make. Um, it was really fun to like run around the house and be like, what are my favorite things right now? And it kind of reminded me like what I've been using that I've really liked. So I definitely want to keep doing these videos throughout 2016. So I hope that you enjoy them. Um, if you have any questions on anything that I talked about, please leave me a comment below. I would love to chat with you guys. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to my channel. There will be many more videos coming and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So thanks for watching my video and have a great night. Bye.